Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, we're going to be asking each other questions. Hopefully, it equal up to 21. So, I don't know. 10.5, 10.5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to be asking Crystal the first question. Are you ready? Set. Go. Uh, first question. What are two things that you regret? Two things that I regret in life. Mm -hmm. Childhood, adulthood, don't matter. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. <laughs> um, I can honestly say I regret for not standing up for me at a younger time in life um, when I should have. Okay. Um, another one that I regret. That's that's um. This about it. I don't. I really don't have a second. Yeah, I really don't have. Some Scroll to your family life. Yeah, y'all, we're trying to switch it what up. Do you, what do you consider your greatest success? My greatest success would be moving to Arizona and getting paid the amount I get paid. The highest I ever got paid in my life. Okay. Not stopping, because it's just the beginning. <clears throat> and if you got any questions randomly, you know, you can just say them. What's your greatest sexual fantasy? <laughs> My greatest sexual fantasy. Um, I want to do a bondage room. A bondage room? Mm-hmm. How that work? Like, I want you to be like tied up. Like nothing like hard. That's like, oh, you about to cry, but it's pleasure. Not like that. Like I just want, like you know how. A, a person will come and then maybe that's it. Like, no, nah, I want to keep going. And you can't stop it because you're tied up. So, so that's something you want to do to me is what you try to say. <laughs> Just say it. You say it. We grown, right? We grown, yes. Grown. That is something that, that I want to do to her. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you describe your last relationship? Um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't give her a chance. So I met Chris in the middle of talking to somebody else. Uh, I feel like I created a fake argument for us, so I won't have to talk to her because I was liking this from her. But um, yeah, it was stupid. I just told her like, "You dumb if you believe that that's not cheating, and you okay to accept that." Just trying to. And then she kept calling. I kept sending her a voicemail. But other than that, she was cool. She was just like me. She was like a little tomboy. She liked the Jordans and shit like me. Um, she was cool. Her family was a second. But like she said, I would have been her first um, first girlfriend that she took seriously. So I ain't like that part. Um, what was your first impression of me? <laughs> Um, I thought she was cute. Walking up, she had green, lime green shorts on, white short, white shirt, and some some little slides on. Her hair was still freshly twisted because her birthday was literally uh, two days before I met her. And she didn't even tell me it was her birthday, y'all. Yeah, I had a bum bum, y'all. So she, yeah. she thought I had herpes. <laughs> that shit not even cool. And I'll tell y'all the story time of that one. Yeah, day. just let, let us know in comments if y'all want to know that story. <laughs> <laughs> she fell of shit. Okay. Um, what do you consider cheating? What do I consider cheating? Three things. <laughs> Fucking somebody else. Uh -huh. So that can be kissing, whatever. Uh -huh. Um... I would say talking sexual to somebody, like... Saying you want to <laughs> say you want to fuck them and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> something hell up. That was in the past. I'm married now. Um, and like just not being honest with me. Like if you did some dirt and you know and you and I have to find out for myself. Like this case, if y'all out. And I got to track your location and know you went on a date with somebody else. So go on a date with somebody else. Like a romantic date. You ain't letting me know. 
No, nah, not a lunch date. Nigga, that wasn't a lunch date. But whatever. <laughs> uh, you full of shit. Mm. Do you think you are trustworthy? Very much so. What makes you trustworthy? Because I don't lie. Do you cheat? I have cheated before. <laughs> but I told the not truth too. Yeah, not don't, on her. Don't, don't look this but way. I did tell the truth when it came to me. I told the truth. So I that's fair. You know? Um, like a lesson or whatever. But trustworthy, yes, you can trust me. Okay. Hey, ain't no you no more, please. <laughs> You gotta go like this. And you probably touch the scroll. What is the most freakiest thing you've done in the bed? Hey, boy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen. Listen, hold on. Hold on. I want y'all to know something. I'm not just out here eating ass, bro. Crystal will be the first and the last one. But y'all, whatever. Y'all can clip this video. I do not care. I feel like don't knock it till you try, but um, I always said I would. But it's like she like that I'm free. Like I don't care. Like in the bedroom, nothing is off limits. I feel like her body is mine, my body is hers. There's no such thing as no. It's like Oh, you know, I can't stand a touch me not or don't touch me person. Yeah, or just a boring ass like y'all gotta keep a little princess. Yeah, so I feel like that's the freakiest thing I or we could say eat cereal while getting here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, go. Um, let me see. You are already married. What are your favorite parts about my personality? I love your heart. Okay. Um, even though I gotta be the cold trimming around it, um, I do love your heart. Um, sometimes I hate when she be too friendly. Oh Jesus, so she butterfly something. But God made you that way, and you know, opposites attract. I'm, people could call me cold hearted or whatever the case may be, but guess what? She warms me up, and I chill her down. So her heart is made of gold. So I love that. Let's see, girl. Uh, my mind's always freaky what I want to do. I don't know. It says, what's something new that you would like to do together in the bedroom? Hmm. I don't know. Like, I want to start going for, like, until niggas are asleep. Like, rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds. <laughs> no, I said, like, like to the point where you doing it, you fall asleep. Fall asleep. Like, I'm gonna lay right here, like Tyson. That's yeah. I think that's what I do. Ain't no. Oh, right, let's get up and go to the shower. No, right, motherfucker, we are gonna lay here sweaty and hot. <laughs> hot and Speaking sweaty. Is fun. Get up, like yeah, damn, that was some good sex. Oh, let me see. Do do do. Oh. How do you think we can, what do you think we can do to keep our sex life exciting? It's already exciting. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Let me ask another one because you answered that too easy. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Okay, this is the cool one. What kind of relationship do you want me to have with your family? Um, that is a good one because, mm -hmm. um, it has been times where, you know, you encounter a situation with a family member that, you know, that gives you a bitter taste in your mouth and now you just like, you don't, you don't mess with them like you would want to. And me, I just feel like I would want her to be forgiven like she is with her family with mine. And it's, it's more to say like, you know, it was a time where she used to be like, well, that's your family. Well, bitches been tricky as yours, too. No, at the uh, time it wasn't. I was married, no. No. But know. it's just to say, like, you know, and it's just like in everywhere. Everybody always so quick to 
forgive a family member, but don't forget it. But they don't forgive people on the street and all this other stuff. And people on the street treat you better than the family member. But I just want you to have that relationship where if you can forgive your family for doing X, Y, and Z so bad and still love them and be around them and want to see them, like, I just want you to have that with mine. So. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Picture the nose. Um. Mm. What type of relationship did your parents have with your ex? Um, that's a good question. I see. I don't feel like I put them in it that much. So my parents are real. Like because they didn't raise me stuff, so I feel like they don't never voice their opinions. They just don't believe in like somebody fucking with me. Like if I go to my daddy and tell him some shit, like where a nigga I'll bust his ass. Or she I'll I'll buy her coochie. Like, that's literally how he taught us. So Roger. he's always gonna be protective of his girls, but um they even let her live with us. So of the ex I'm speaking of, they let her live with us. My mom opened up to her more than she opened up to me, so maybe they liked it. I don't know. Toxic No, I don't think so. I just felt like she was accepting of them, like, because her family reminded her so much of them, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. How much money should we contribute to a joint fund? Mm. We a joint account? Yeah. I mean, I feel like you give if you work in a job, like we work jobs and we also entrepreneurs. So mm-hmm. I feel like your business that like the business that we have together is already one account, right? Right. And then, like, I feel like your job that you have is your money. The job that I have is my money. But everything else that we do together should all automatically go in that account. Like, it already do. Oh, but I feel like the jobs you work should go in that account. They can, too. But how you know, like, I said that because, like, when I want to do something and surprise you, it's like, okay, if if I no, sell the car, like, now you've seen what I purchased no, or something I'm like that. Like, split it up. That's what I'm going to do. But. Yeah. Or you can do, like, I keep a check out of that month and the other three go in there. Mm-hmm. Whatever the case may be. Uh, let's see. We're gonna ask a couple more, y'all. We're gonna get up out of here in about 13 minutes. We'll make it 15. Mm-hmm. You is not that excited to get over here, buddy. I'm just asking one. What is what has been the most challenging for you this year? Uh, I would say surrounding myself with people I thought loved me and uh, losing them because they wasn't genuine. Um, yeah, I, I think I experienced a lot of hurt from people I call friends. Okay. So, uh, what was your least favorite moment about this year? Like. What irritated you to like? I don't want to say break character, but like the most you've ever been irritated this year. Um, it could be kind of similar to yours. Um, what most irritated me this year is being around new people and not knowing who how strong my personality is or how real the person I am, and then they make it come off to be as oh I have an attitude problem or you know it's just. Things that that be said once you're out the room, but when you try to, you know, confront it, no one ever has anything to say. But it's always, you know, my attitude is too strong, my personality is too strong. But it's like, if I can't be me, I don't need to be around you, right? Like, cause it's for like now I'm dim- dimming down my light of who I am to make everybody else around me feel better, and that's not what I'm gonna do. So I didn't like that stage in my life, but I guess it was because God needed to show me, you know. You know, only the real can handle me. That's all. That's that's it. That's all. Okay. So you last question. Last question. What you want to do with me right now? 